好啦。Welcome。Stillness. Now I'm anxious. Can you hear the anxiousness? Can you say "see"、si、if you can hear it? See,、si. <laughs> gracias. Will you breathe with me to help me still the anxiousness? Come to your heart. Come to your heart. I know that we have one heart, and from our heart. Breathe deeply in through your nose. Deep inhale. Exhale very slowly. Two more. Big inhale in. Exhaling very slowly, helping me to still my energy. Coming into your heart, knowing that you are a life resuscitation machine. Your energy affects my energy. My energy affects yours. Big inhale into your low tummy. Exhale very slowly. Thank you. <clears throat> so my name is Mike Danheim.、Uh, I'm the founder at Sensi Technologies. And what we're doing at Sensi、uh, is we're using smartphone sensors to help us access and amplify mindfulness. The mindfulness that we're looking to amplify is the mind-body-spirit connection of the body, and spirit is energy. So, just by a show of hands, how many people had a chance to download the app? Okay, amazing. Okay, if you downloaded the app.、Um, If you could come closer together as a group,、so、like the people who've downloaded the app, if you're able to come into this center here, because you're you're gonna move with me, and we're actually gonna create some sound together. If you're open to coming into this section, that would be awesome. If you're comfortable, I understand that. Yeah, awesome. Thank you.、Uh, and then, since many people haven't downloaded the app, you'll still be able to participate with us.、Um, but I'm gonna share、uh, the app so you can see what we're doing, and you can you can play along with us.、Um, so. It will come on in a second. So the inside the smartphone, there's many sensors, and as you can see here,、um, that little line as I'm moving my phone, you can see it's tracing my movement. And so as I move, we're able to amplify the sensor data from the phone into sound. So movement has a frequency, sound has a frequency. Our emotions and our spirit is an energy which has its own frequency. And so what we've done, and we're going to get to play with today a little bit, is we've created different soundscapes. And if you have the app, the little green arrow there, you just tap on it, and it helps you transition through the different soundscapes.、Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to part from that. And、uh, if you have the app on your phone and you want to participate, you can just turn it on right now, and、uh, and then open it up. And what we're going to do together here.、Uh, If you open it up to grounding stillness, so tab over to grabbing <clears throat> grounding stillness, and then start to move in a way that represents how you're feeling. Yeah, and if you don't have the app, you can pull your phone out. If you have an Android or you don't have the app on it, you can pull your phone out and just start to move your body in a way that represents how you're feeling. It could be a very unique shape to you, but start to get feedback from your own state through how you're moving. Yeah, start to move because we're gonna do this interactive together, and we're gonna support each other. So as you're moving, hear the sound that's being generated from the app, and take a deep breath through your nose, and then exhale very slowly out through the mouth, and see how that starts to change the way you move. Deep inhale in through the nose, exhaling out through the mouth. Now pay attention to your neighbor. Observe how they're moving, and see if you can move in a rhythm with them. Just see if you can come into a harmonic movement with them. And notice how the sound, my sound, is shifting. It's becoming more soft, more subtle. 
So as we move, as our energy that we're carrying takes a different shape, it affects us the way we move, it affects the people around us. And we're responsible for our energy. We can own our energy, we can come into harmony through the way we breathe and the way we move. So we'll just slow down for one second and we're gonna switch soundscapes to ocean breath work. So I didn't know this actually until today, one of the friends told me that we're actually under the sea while we're in here. And the ceiling is actually designed, there's like water elements on the, on the ceiling. And inside Sensi we have this sound, it's called pink noise. Um, you can hear it now. Pink noise is the sound that is thought to be uh, the sound inside the womb. It's a very soothing sound. As I make too much movement in this ocean of energy that's around me, I can splash the ocean of energy around me. I can interact with it. If you have the app on your phone, you can try. <laughs> it's pretty wild. The sensors in this phone, we get thousands of data points per second. So we're able to actually amplify the energy that's being expressed through my body. If I don't whip hard, there's no splash of the ocean. So it's a, it's a fun little playful way to come into your energetic state. The other thing that we want to share about, so when it comes to our energy, to understand how we manage and manifest the energy in our bodies, we have to understand also that our environment affects our energy. And right now around us, there's ultrasonic, ultraviolet, magnetic waves, there's all kinds of energy that our brain can't see. Our brain filters one trillionth of the amount of light that's currently accessible to us. And so one thing that's really interesting is there's a magnetic sensor in the phone. And so you can actually pick up on different magnetic waves. As I scan the screen, there's magnets in these technologies. You can hear it as I'm moving. There it is. So right there, there's a magnet in the screen right there. You can hear it as I move my hand around it. Um, and so in our homes, you know, we have so much technology, so many different materials that can be affecting our energetic state. And so we're creating these technologies to help us better amplify and understand our environments and our internal states so we can understand the connection of mind, body, spirit and understand our own health. The next one we're gonna move to is percussive play. This one's one of my favorites. Um, so the heart has a very real rhythm to it. Um, I can tell you from my own personal experience and scientifically that the times where I was stressed, depressed, anxious, um, had different issues, I was far from my heart. And what I've learned is that as I become healthy and, and I expand my consciousness, I'm more attuned with my heart. And the heart has a rhythm, a felt experience, a felt vibration, which is the spirit, the energy of the body. And so one of the questions we've been exploring is how can we maintain the rhythm of the heart and understand when we're in alignment with our whole being? And so we created this little gesture where uh, you can hit gongs. So you can hit little gongs, but it has to be rhythmic. If I go really fast, you hear that? It's a taiko. I have it silent at the moment. I hope it didn't blow his speakers. <laughs> but, uh, but the whole point is to stay in rhythm of our bodies. There it is. And so we're going to be exploring this later in the movement dome uh, in terms of how we can find this rhythm and stay in the rhythm of our bodies to help support our own human flourishing. The last one I wanted to end on with a magnetic sensor is the earth has a very real energy to it. It has a magnetic wave. It's how compasses work, right? So as you move around the earth with a compass, the compass picks up on the magnetic waves of the earth. We can synthesize the magnetic waves of earth into sound so we can understand our orientation to true north. So as I move in a circle and I pass through true north, there it is. So there's true north. As I move in circles, this is all energy. There it is. So true north, if anyone, if there's any Spaniards or local Barcelona, Barcelona people in the house, maybe they can confirm that that is true north. But energy never lies, right? There's a well-known saying, energy never lies. And so there's energy all around us and we can pick up on it with these sensors and really help us come into this human flourishing, which is naturally guided by our own energy. And so the piece that is most interesting to me about our energy is our emotional state. There's a false dichotomy in the world that there's something that is a negative emotion and a positive emotion. 
Uh, I find this to be personally harmful because anything that's negative, I want to stay away from. It's just not true that there's negative and positive emotions. It is true that there's emotions that have stress and that there's emotions that don't have stress. That is true. And stress is rich information from us, by us. And so I share that because what I've learned in my own time is the more in harmony I am with my emotions, the more balanced and more thriving I am as a human. And so I look at my emotions as a uh, spectrum, like a circular spectrum. And if I blunt myself on anger, fear, or sadness, I'm blunting myself on joy and bliss. And so one of the things we've been exploring with this technology is how we can help uh, create healthier ways to express our emotions. Because using words to express emotions is like water trying to understand dirt. Um, I, for me, I know that the number one place of fights is when my wife is trying to explain to me her emotional state and then I try and figure her out. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't work, you know? And that's the thing with emotions is they're not meant to be figured out. They're meant to be seen. And so this technology, uh, this next soundscape is ceremonial closing. And what we did is we created a taiko drum, which is a drum from Japanese culture, which creates great passion and anger. It's a way to express the, the deeper energies. And so you can only hit the taiko if you bring a certain velocity. So for example, if I try to hit the taiko, I can't hit it, I have to really, oh, I have to close the app and restart. We were having an issue with the Bluetooth yesterday, one second. To, to hit the taiko, you have to really bring all of your energy. There it is. There it is. Yeah. And the point of anger and some of these other emotions is to stop. Something needs to stop. There's something that needs my awareness, that, isn't, that, that just needs my awareness and needs change. And when I can hear it, that sound of the taiko brings me to a place of, wait, what is this? What is this calling forth for me? And so we've created these soundscapes for that reason, is to really help us come into this place where we can come into our last soundscape, which is restorative rest. And the thing I know about emotions in my life is the more that I try to stuff them, the more that I try to reject them, swiping, swiping them away, drinking them away, uh, you know, sexing them away, all the things we do to handle the way we feel, the more they're building up and creating disharmony in my life. And it's the cultivation of them, of bringing them into awareness that has the deepest and most profound healing. And then with this last soundscape, we can come into what's called restorative rest, where we can relax into ourselves. And what you're hearing right now is a little bit more of the pink ocean, and we can be soothed by our own energies. Because our energetic state is for us, by us. It's what our emotions are, it's part of our intelligence. It's core to our intelligence. And if I could leave with one thought or one question I'm exploring is just how can we use these modern technologies to help support human flourishing and the connection of ourselves to our hearts? Because I've noticed that when I'm connected to my heart, it's easier for me to connect to you and to nature. I'm really grateful for the time to be here today and I wanna finish by saying that Bill Sofke, he's a friend and colleague of mine, amazing scientist. He's a, he's a Caltech theoretical physicist. Um, he will be talking about the underlying science to the technologies we're developing. Bill's written many uh, amazing papers and made significant contributions to computational neuroscience. Uh, and we'll be on stage together at uh, 3.30 today and then doing a movement session at 6. So if you'd like to use this technology, there is a link sent out to everyone. You can download it. Um, we have another application where we're combining these soundscapes with a sensing technology that helps to sense the alignment of mind, body, and spirit in any part of your life. Uh, and if you'd like access to that inside the app on the About Us page, you can click on that and then there's a little place you can fill out a form and we'll get you access as soon as it's out. Um, otherwise, I'm so grateful for this time today for all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you.